Ain't no whole big ass head was even there. Check, check, check. Yeah. Who's that? What's up, everybody? I'm loud. Eddie. I mean, everybody push in, push in. Everybody just push in. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just push in. I'm my headphones. Everybody in? Let me know if you hear it. Somebody doing it. It's right here. Oh, you said you didn't use it. I thought you were talking about your headphones. Nah, but that's what makes us sad though. And yes, you did, because he, he said y'all moved it down. Move what down? Like the headphones, like, I guess he used yours and you used mine. That's all right. That's all right. Wait, what's the question? <laughs> we, ain't asking, oh, we, 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 we ain't asking Cody to cut the count of votes. <laughs> Jeez, Floyd, come on, come on. All right, yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Ah, what's up? Elevator Radio. Hey, that sounded kind of Will Smithish, almost like, but I got the Tyson right. shit on. What's up? God damn, Coney, what you grumpy <laughs> for? <laughs> Give her a little tequila. She start turning up. Oh, she ain't even drinking yet. That's um, a I wouldn't be surprised if she poured that just to see what, like, just to stare at it the whole time. Are you gonna finish it? It's kind of a just, lot. Yeah, I don't Where's think she business? is. You're not gonna finish it. It's see you in my business. Don't do that. Who started that? It's on TikTok. I know. Uh, oh, okay. But you don't know who started. Mm -mm. Oh. I'm. I'm always interested in them because I. I'm. I'll jump into a wave. That's what everybody does. We jump into a wave, having no idea where it came from. Just like oh, it's TikTok. What matter of fact, what happened to TikTok? That was supposed to be banned after a while, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get it back at this point. Trump just kind of folded on that. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, get it back. Cause I deleted it because it was just too much going on with them, and they just got bigger. And now they have. <laughs> um, they have TikTok billboards now, mm -hmm. which is crazy. Trump probably paid him under so, the table. Said, let yeah. me get some cash. I'll let me know how it goes. The whole thing, you know, all the hoopla about you guys needing to be absorbed by Microsoft. I'll just let that go if you just slide mm -hmm. me, you know, slide mm -hmm. me a little, little coin. Nah, I believe it. Y'all y'all operate out of China? That's what my bank account's going to be. Which China. Is wild. He does have a bank account out there, though, actually. He does have a bank account out there. No, but we'll talk um, about that. Yeah. If this is the first time you're listening to us, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, leave a review. Uh, you can catch us anywhere where you consume your podcast. Right? So tell all your friends. Follow us on a page, Elevated Days underscore replace the YS with a Z E. That's what you got. Coney, Swale, how y'all doing? I'm stressed right now. The selection is stressing me out. Yeah, it's intense. First like of all, the, why haven't they been counting these mail in ballots? Like I'm confused. Because in mailing? some states, uh the legislature says that you can't count it until like the end. Something mm -hmm. about it's so time consuming. Something about um, if the information is leaked, who's winning, it might influence last minute voters. Mm. Facts. Okay, okay, I understand. That. I understand. But according to what I heard, it, it was like a, a in a lot of these areas, it's like a Republican sort of law, or it was brought up by Republicans. I don't, I don't want to be the, is. I don't want to be the fake news guy scam, tonight. Scam, scam to. So let's not do that. I don't want to be the fake news people guy. People from voting. Yeah. Let's. So. You know, uh, obviously, so we're, as we're recording this, this is the, uh, I guess, day two of the election. We still don't really know what's going to happen. All signs point to Joe Biden becoming the presidential elect. But if there's anything that we've learned, especially in the last four years, it's that mm. like we don't celebrate until mm. it's done. So, goddamn, Connie, what's going on? Yeah, weird. That let's, let's talk about number. life. That Georgia number. Oh, just, I thought you put too much in your drink or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, about to say what? <laughs> nah, he's like literally, it's like a hundred thousand votes different. Well, anyway, guys, that's what we're paying attention to. So if if Coney interrupts me anymore, she's talking about the she's talking about the polls. Mm -hmm. But right now, as as we are recording, it appears that Joe Biden only needs Nevada for the final six electoral votes um, to become the presidential elect. To make this a bit more relevant to the you know the people that are listening to the show because obviously um us giving the minute by minute sort of reaction to all of this probably won't help too much by the time the episode drops so mm -hmm. let's just talk about let's just back up a little bit what was kind of like your emotions through the the opening night um sort of like what the temperature was the week leading into it there were a lot of strong signs showing that biden would be the winner um but then obviously <clears throat> A few hours into the first night, it, it did appear that Trump was probably going to um, uh, become reelected at some Sad. point. So just kind of take me through what that what that felt like going into it. I don't know how much you guys paid attention in previous 
um, elections. But mm-hmm. let's let's just kind of start there. Swale. Okay, I guess me first. Uh, a lot. So I mean, first things first. Well, Biden broke the record for the most popular votes ever. Not so, su- huh? Not surprised. Yeah. So if he loses, I'm probably never gonna vote again. To be honest with you, because that's crazy. You can't just do numbers like that and not win. You know what I'm saying? But I say I'm not surprised, though, because we got to pump brakes and give context to that. It's also because this is a record number of people actually going to the polls. Yeah. Which, so is, which is, which is I'd, fair. I'd actually, I I'd get still, it. I'd still believe that he probably, in comparison or just by um, mm-hmm. just like given the size proportion, mm-hmm. I would be surprised to think that he got any more than Obama got. That's fine. All I'm saying is, so Hillary had a popular last year or last four years ago. I felt some type of way about it, but shit wasn't bro- uh, record breaking. So you know, cool. Mm. He's breaking records again. If he wins, if he doesn't win, I'm probably not going to vote anymore because that just tells me what's the point of voting if the electoral just has all the power, which they still do at the end of the day. But you know what I'm saying? It's, it's disgusting. Um, I do like, so I don't like he's losing like Florida, Texas, things like that. Um, the only hope I do have for those states. If you look at those states and you look at other states like Georgia as well, the bigger cities where education and universities are, they're voting for Biden. It's like mm-hmm. the other cities, like the off cities, like the country, things the like country, that. Country, country, country cities. Yeah, and it's unfortunate that there's less, more of them than there are like Miami's, Orlando's, Tampa. All of them voted for Biden. Atlanta voted for Biden. Houston voted for Biden. But it's just like the other parts. <laughs> and, the others. And, and it's funny that you bring up Miami too because they actually... They actually let us down a little bit. Miami-Dade County did not really uh, vote as strongly for Biden as mm-hmm. they have in the Democratic Party in previous years. Mm-hmm. Um, as we're kind of looking at this right now, Georgia. Yeah, see, Augusta, Savannah. About, Augusta, stand up. Educated yeah. areas that yeah. have colleges there are smart. <laughs> the other areas, it's kind of like. Well, okay, but to play devil's advocate, I, I, what the reason for that would be is like, you know, when you talk about liberals, conservatives, mm-hmm. typically in more city, more populous areas, mm-hmm. more, you know, lean towards the liberal side, whereas um, people in rural communities kind of focus on different things. They don't really care. They don't leave the house. Them. They're on the and farm. I, and now, I, and I would cows. also say with rural areas, too, Mecklenburg have, held it down. Playing yeah. with chickens. Right? Wake, Wake County held it down. Education. In Carolina. Education. Um, but not so much. I don't, I don't know if Winston, if like, uh, who, what county is Winston in? I can't remember. But, um, are they Wake, they're not Wake Forest? That's a county? No, I don't think that's a county, though. That was a county. No, that's a city. Maybe I'm tripping. Uh, but <laughs> anyway, uh, this isn't <laughs> this isn't the show for that. Now, um, let's see, Cumberland County, shout out to Fayetteville, um, which was actually surprising to me. So I will say that um, because Fayetteville is is really heavy um, from a military standpoint, and I didn't I didn't know which the the military demographic is interesting because I, I wasn't exactly sure which way they would kind of lean overall in this vote. I haven't really paid too much like to the uh, demographics, mm-hmm. but. Uh, there, there were definitely some surprises. Millennials, Gen Zers, uh, showed out for this election. Mm-hmm. Um, there, there was certainly, uh, there was certainly a pattern. Um, Donald Trump had a lot of. Uh, he sort of dominated the, uh, the election day vote. The you know the vote where you pull up November. What was the second, third? Mm-hmm. It's November, yeah, yesterday, November yeah, 3rd. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Keeping track of my days. So, uh, November 3rd, like he killed that. But what Biden sort of dominated was the the early vote. Mm-hmm. So, what we started seeing with, with this map, and the reason for why a lot of us started to see um, Trump kind of uh, being favored to win early on, a lot of that came from uh, many of the states that revealed their votes on opening night um were doing they were counting the early votes first so because the democratic party has disproportionately like dominated that from like a 70 to 20 sort of uh split that's why joe biden was like being seen as the favorite in texas and ohio and these states that you really wouldn't think he would be the favorite early on but what happened was when they started counting the actual same day votes that's when 
uh, President Trump took over. Now, what's happening in the late night of of last night into the early morning is the inverse. So Mm -hmm. the states that were kind of left over and the reason why he flipped Michigan, the reason why he flipped. um, What was it? Uh, It was Michigan, Minnesota and. No, he already had Minnesota. What was the other one? It was oh Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. The reason mm-hmm. why he flipped those is because for those states, kind of like what Coney touched on in the beginning, is they weren't able to count their uh, early ballots until like later in the process. Mm-hmm. So it's not really the Trump campaign is trying to throw out that there's fraud going on, but really it's the same thing that Trump was doing, just the inverse. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of a, Trump was coming from behind because of just the the way that the process works. The same way that Biden ended up taking control, they started counting the early votes. I mean, when you're when you're dominating that way, I mean, Democrats, man, like showed out at the poll, like early, early election showed out. Mm-hmm. Um, but right now we're in a situation where Trump is is sort of I don't know if he's accept, he's not really I, I don't want to say he's accepting defeat, but I think he sees that the writing is on the wall that his chances are very small. Yeah. Definitely agree. He's already fighting back before it's official, which I haven't seen that before either. We're we're obviously in a different time, different climate, mm-hmm. but I haven't seen that before. Yeah, I haven't seen it before. Shout out, like I said earlier, you know what I'm saying, a double down, Greensboro, Raleigh, Fayetteville, Charlotte, all educated areas in North Carolina <laughs> voted for Biden. You know what I'm saying? Where the biggest universities are in the state. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? The others... And it's funny too because I was going to uh, Greenville last was it last weekend? Yeah, I was driving to Greenville last weekend. There was an accident, so I took a back road to get down there. Country as hell. Never been down there before. Okay. Scared. No Let's lights. See, see where he's going with this. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna wait. Those Go are the Trump fans right there. No uh, university in sight. I went to Crowder's Mountain. Crowder's Mountain. That way, yeah. yeah, yeah. I went out there. Uh, I, w- I took a wrong turn. Mm-hmm. Luckily, it was during the day. See what I see? What because I mean? The whole street. Whole street was lit up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm down there with no lights. Yeah. Gaslight about to come on. I was trying to push it. You know what's petty for me and what's fun for me is like when you have friends that are Trump. Well, not friends. I I will use that very loosely. (laughs) But when you are connected, when you're connected with people, when you're connected with people on Facebook, this has become my petty pastime. You're connected with somebody on Facebook and they post something about Trump, but it's kind of like iffy news, report it. Every time I just wait for it, report it, see him post it again, report. It's just fun. It's fun for me, especially when, you know, Mm -hmm. I've also been just like seeing a lot of posts from people saying like, oh, you know, it's not about who wins the election. You know, we are the community of people. Uh, Noise doing too much now. Sure is doing too much now. (laughs) Yeah. uh, (laughs) (laughs) Doing too much. (laughs) But basically, you know, it's not. It's like, oh, it's not about who, who wins or not. Okay. Yeah, put, put it in. That's when you put the drink up. Yeah. There okay. We go. It's mm. not about who wins, um, because they're not in our daily communities. You know, your neighbor is, so you shouldn't like, you know, dish off your neighbor just because they're a Trump supporter. But I think right now we're in a time right now where it's bigger than the election. Um, if you are a Trump supporter. You're you're supporting everything he embodies, everything that he represents. And I feel like that's much bigger than this election. And so for me, I see Trump as a racist, mm. um, someone who, you know, incites violence um, and someone who is not respectful of women. So for me, if you're supporting that, that means you're supporting those things that he embodies, those things that he symbolizes. And I can't personally rock with someone who is in support of racism, who is in support of bigotry, mm-hmm. who is in support of someone being, someone inciting violence <clears throat> on an, another group of people. I was about to say, that was my question, was uh, do, you th- do you think you could be cool with somebody that, like is, what does this decision between these two candidates, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Does the, is that a deal breaker for just people that you know in general? And I don't mean just some like coworker, but let's like just say no, no. It's yeah. somebody you really know. Uh, is that is that something that's really going to flip? Nah, I mean you know me, I I'm I'm okay with uh, knowing people are conversating with people who have other views than my own. 
to kind of go off of Coney said, I don't really at this point. So beforehand, I think we talked with last month or two months ago. Um, I don't like Trump or Biden, and I really don't want to vote for either of them. But when it comes down to like who's the worst out of the worst, like Trump is obviously like the worst. Like a lot of people on Facebook talking about some. Uh, I'm not going to vote for Biden just because it's like it's November 2nd. Like, we're kind of like past that point. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, so you not voting is not going to help. And you just with this attitude is not going to help, especially with the whole tax situation. Niggas who qualify for 1200 complain about taxes. You don't qualify for that. You don't have over what? 300,000. I think 400,000. You have something to have like a 400,000. Yeah. You're not, you don't have any family members that have that. You don't have any friends that have that. You got to cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> like this is crazy. So I, I have somebody pretty close to me that, is a Trump supporter. I'm mm-hmm. I'm not gonna, you know, call him out on it. Blast him. And just being like real. <laughs> Blast him. No, I mean, just, you know, being from a real like a real adult like point of view and situation. It's it's very easy, I think, for a lot of people to dismiss and and toss people kind of to the side. Um if you feel very strongly about that. And I, I want to bring this up now only because obviously all the votes are out and by no means did I want to say this in a way that made it conflicting or as if I was like, you know, caping for somebody or maybe even giving an alternative <clears throat> point of view. Because I also agree that 45 just needed to go. Right. Just needed to go. Like I, I don't need to sugarcoat that. I don't need to beat around the bush. I do think that it becomes a lot more complex when you know the character. Mm hmm. Of mm. the person, it doesn't make it as easy to say because I I did feel like that at a point. Like I was like, if if you rock with him, if you support the things that he supports, you don't have to be a racist, but you're turning a blind eye to the behavior, right? Yeah. And so it took me because I I knowing this person inside and out clearly isn't racist. I guess is in again. That's giving some information without giving all of the information. Mm-hmm. Let's just say you know you know the people you know, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And it's like I know that's not the case. So for me, because I'm not the person <laughs> to use Swale's word that likes carrying the blanket around and making a blanket statement about a whole group of people mm-hmm. just based off of what the perception is. Mm-hmm. I have to imagine that if that person feels that way. This is another reason for why half the half of the American people can't decide because this wasn't a landslide. Even if Biden wins, it's by the narrowest of margins. I don't know. I don't know what historically how close these races have gone. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that uh, W. Bush and and Al Gore was probably the next closest in recent history Mm -hmm. because I I think what um, Al Gore won the popular Mm -hmm. vote. Shout out Gore. W. Bush won the the electoral vote. So my thing is, I think we do have to, at some point, someday down the road, we do have to have a conversation about, we have to acknowledge that there is more complexity than assuming that everybody who votes for Trump is a racist. There's a, there's a pain racist. there. There's yeah. a, there's a. Think about think about yeah. all of the people. I think say about racist. there's so many closet people. I'm sure you even know that support him. And and I'm speaking from and this is what I'm saying. I'm speaking from a, a a standpoint of this person that I'm thinking of. I know like hell they're not racist. But, but what was that? What's, what's, okay, what's the so reason? Like I though? Said, this is was there a reason? Because people don't because people don't see particular things the same way or as dramatic. No, no, no as their reason. I'm talking about what's because I haven't heard at least one solid reason why oh, uh, he's so, going for so, I mean, so I've had arguments with this, and I mean, I, I can't even really say. Yeah. I think I would have to really understand fully for me to even. So no concrete say. reason why. I mean, well, they're going say, all right, so. If, Mm -hmm. Uh, reason with me right for Mm -hmm. the same reason none of us can give concrete reasons for why we're supporting biden right Uh, oh no 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 i'm not i'm not asking you to Uh pick between the two i'm saying do you have concrete reasons on for why you're support yeah if we take trump out the picture yeah yeah, yeah. uh fair okay okay so so the only thing that i will say about it is from the conversation i had with them because i don't want to misinterpret 
what they were giving me because again i still don't agree so if i'm gonna argue something i'm gonna like tell you why <laughs> like i have to be able to agree to really articulate it mm. but i think the main reason that a lot of people support trump is the anti-establishment he's completely against what the status quo is we can't act like his people Again, these are not my personal feelings, mm -hmm. but we also can't act like America was fine and dandy before Trump walked in. Right. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of people support Trump because he's sort of like the whistleblower, like he he could be trash, but he's also highlighting all the trash. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like it's kind of uh, we make jokes about the lesser of the evils. But sometimes the bad can bring out the bad. And I think people who people who gravitate towards Trump do so because he's completely against how how politicians are supposed to be run. You can't you can't contain him. You can't tell him what to say. Mm -hmm. He does things that are kind of above and beyond. <clears throat> um, and it's, it's kind of like what we talked about in our uh, in our conversation earlier um donald trump was a was a democrat before he ran for presidency mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he's not even really a republican he he ran as a republican because he felt that was his best chance of winning and that's where he was getting support from mm -hmm. but he was he was a, a huge donor of many previous democratic nominees so so i think we we feel the way we feel about republicans and we feel the way we do about trump but i think that a lot of people uh, a lot of people are driven by him just because he's radical. I don't support him, mm -hmm. and I, I'll I'll be open. You don't know, talk politics. You don't know, talk about who you voted for. Mm -hmm. Clearly, I voted for Biden. Like I would, yeah, that wasn't yeah. even a that wasn't even a conversation I really had to have. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. I think I think it's 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 a a tough fence to straddle. Right before you go, right before you go, I, I only want to. The only reason I said any of this, <laughs> no, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you. No, literally, the only thing that I was trying to get out of that entire thing mm -hmm. is uh, me just being the person that really wants to get to the root of things. I think uh, for any for anybody who does support Trump, and to just stop the conversation and say racist, is kind of doing us a dis a disservice. To really get to, because that that may not be what it is. There may be you other reasons for why you, they Coney. support somebody. Well, I'll let you get it. And first. I think for us to have conversations, it doesn't mean that we want to like agree with them. You but go, go, go it, but life is way more complex than just voting for somebody because of racism. I think it's an easy cop out. So for me personally, maybe go ahead, Connie. People can say that they are not racist. Mm. That's fine. You can say that. A lot of people say a lot of things. Trump says a lot of things. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, and, and taking off your point, LB, if the person is not racist and you know you know this person and you feel like, oh, they, they're not racist, but I feel like the person who is not racist but turns a blind eye to racism is just as bad as a person who is racist. Because still at the end of the day, if you're turning a blind eye to it, you're not going to speak up for it. You're not going to stand against it. And when it comes down to, you know, when it comes down to the point of, okay, which side are you going to stand on? You're going to have to make a choice. Mm -hmm. And, we know and if you is. side with racism, even mm -hmm. though you're not racist, then I'm sorry. I'm going to have to group you with the rest of them over there. Yeah. No, I'm I not agree. making I'm not making a separate palette for, oh, not racist, but still suck because you voted for Trump. Nope. Everybody are you, are you, over there together. Are you allowed to say this person's white or black? Are you what? Are you allowed to say this person's white or black? This person's black. Yeah. Black? Okay. And they've done a lot for black people. <laughs> the <laughs> other thing, I, I always get the conversation. <laughs> we always get the conversation that, oh, well, I'm not I'm not voting for him because of, you know, I don't I don't agree with his character, but I'm voting with him based on his policies. OK, what are those policies? Any person that I've asked that question has not been able to answer. And, I, and it could have been as simple as, oh, what he's done for the taxes or what he's done for, you know, my my income or anything. Mm -hmm. But they don't have anything at all. 
So if you're going to say that you're voting on someone not based off a character, but based on their policies, I'm at least need you to know what the policies are that you agree with. Even if it's not everything, I'm not saying you got to know everything they stand for, because as a as a person who voted for Biden and as a Democrat, I don't believe in all of his policies that he's has that he has put forth. So that's the second thing. The third thing that I want to talk about is how. Like I like going back to my point earlier right now, this is bigger than just the election. Mm. This man is inciting violence in our people are worried about a civil war right now. For real. And so for you to give this man your vote mm. when we we are literally in a time right now where people are afraid for their lives. Children have been separated from their parents. Mm hmm. There's there's no conversation that we can have that you can literally say that sitting here as a human being, as a human being, you will want somebody like that continuing running the country. Yes, Trump is a radical. So was Hitler. So was um, Osama bin Laden. Do we really want to go down this path? So, no, I'm not going to create a separate bubble for people who, quote unquote, aren't racist, but voted for Trump. Because still, at the end of the day, you're siding with violence. You're mm. siding with turning a blind eye to everything that's going on mm -hmm. and happening to everyone else across the world because it's not happening to you. And that's the issue. That's the issue. Yeah. I mean, first of all, I mean, I think it's a real short conversation anyway. I, I hear what you're saying. When it comes to black people voting for Trump, I'm not going to pull the race card, but I'm not even going to have that conversation with you because you're just so far off the grid. You don't even realize what's even going on. Like I can't I can't have a conversation with somebody who's black voting for Trump mm. like at all, like zero mm. white people voted for Trump. If you make more than 400,000, I get it. You know, what I'm saying money is important to you. You know, you know how that goes. If you know, you know, type of situation um, under 400,000. Yeah, I'm at the. Either I'm pulling the race card or, again, going back to the whole, you just don't really comprehend what's going on out here. Mm -hmm. And you haven't experienced something that the level that black people experience on a daily for you to even, like, care. Which, again, I get. Like, I don't blame you for that. That's, you know. Yeah. I want to I wanna jump in here because I see mm -hmm. how this is. I don't like how this is turning. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Come no, on. no, no. The reason why I don't like how it's turning is because it's almost like I agree with what both of you are saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We're My not pointing to the question was, are you done? Like, are you like if it's somebody you are cool with, are you cutting off that person strictly because of their political views? Oh, if they yeah. And what yeah. I was if, saying and what I was in saying. In this election, yes. If they're black, so for you're sure. Cutting them off? Any other election? Family, like black, yes, white. So we can still, was, we can still, like, for uh, example, if it was like your brother, I don't like, have a brother. My brother's black. No, yeah. no, it's my. I'm saying if it was your brother, you know he's not racist. This is a hypothetical situation. I'm not saying that it's my brother. Yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah. that you know he's not racist, right? Right. Well, that goes to the comprehend Like, there's nothing for us to talk about. Like, you're just so far lost. You just lost. You just lost. I can't. I can't help you at that point. If you're white. Honestly, I know people who voted for Trump last election. I know people who are like heavy, heavy, not racist, but there's, you know, heavy uh, white power. I mean, yeah, I get it. You're white. Yeah. Um, and yeah. we're cool. Like we work together, you know, no beef. I will also you know say, too, the difference in between this right now for if for me. And this is why I'm saying yes. Now, mm -hmm. this isn't the, the first time Trump has been president. This would have this would be his second term. So if we're we're back at the first term and we really don't know him. We really don't know what he's about. We only, you know see what he's done for the terrible business that he has okay i can understand why you don't understand we have had four years of this man we have four years mm -hmm. the first if you one don't understand there. by now mm -hmm. if you don't see all the craziness that's going on in this world if you don't Zero understand progress. and then people will hit me with well i vote for local elections so i don't feel like it's important to vote for the president okay, oh, okay. so when the president elects a supreme court justice who decides and they and an issue comes to court. Let's say if your cousin is gunned down in the street or or put in a chokehold, mm -hmm. and the Supreme Court rules that it's constitutional, do, do not. Mm -hmm. And I say this for real. Do not complain. Do not bitter batter with people because mm -hmm. you sat at the house at the end of the day to say, oh, I'm not going to vote for president. Yes, your state and a local elections are very important. So is voting for the president. They make a lot of decisions that can overrule House and Senate. Mm. They make a lot of decisions like, for example, putting a Supreme Court justice on the Supreme Court, which mm. now I will say our Supreme Court now with the Amy Coney um, Barrett nomination and her going through mm. is now more conservative 
than any any other time it has been in history. Mm. It's disgusting. Like Coney said, first election, you get a pass. Did I vote for Trump? No, of course not. <laughs> Did I think? I you know what I'm saying? Oh, no. Definitely not. Did I, mean, I look, vote for Trump? Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we nah, hear now. No, nah, no. Nah, for the first one, I didn't vote for the boy. Uh, because again, common sense, comprehending shit. This nigga has no experience. Why would I want him to be president? Mm. But at the same time, like you said, why people voted for him. It might be interesting to see. And I have more conviction you know this saying? time around than I did last time. Like last so time, what? last time I was voting for for Hillary, just like like I was shaking, like I was shaking, we like oh, like, shaking. I guess I guess I want her. But, that's what I'm saying. But, but like, this time, but this time it was like nope, easy. You that's why first like, time right around, now. I'm gonna give you a pass. We were all thinking it. It might be cool if Trump is president. Might no 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 no. I know, I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people. No no. no I'm saying Who's, I'm saying I could never I can never do that for the same reason that you said. Like if you're not you're not qualified, you never held any sort of position in office. Oh yeah yeah, yeah that's going, that, that's my thinking. Obviously it's like yeah that's definitely why, I'm gonna vote for why, you. But that's why a personal fuck you to all fifty thousand that voted for Kanye. That's why election man, is crazy. That's why. And that's I don't wild. know I don't know anybody who registers Tea Party or Tea Party <laughs> Green the Green Green Party. Green Party. Uh, but like, why do y'all, do y'all think y'all ever gonna win? Like, I, I just, look, this is this is why I do not understand. I understand the point of like having an independent and Green Party, whatever. I just feel that there needs to be like some sort of you know qualification. Like Something. if you don't if you don't get this like number, then. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not the person that should be asked. But it's just like if you don't get a, a certain number of votes just in general, like to even put you on the map, you shouldn't even be on the ballot. Yeah. There but needs to be a me. qualification period, though. Not even why with am that. I voting I'm talking like, why am I voting for a president who's 80? That's These guys true. have health issues. They're coming on. Oh, the, yeah, they're going to yeah, have both, health they're, issues. They're both in their 70s. They're yeah. dying. They're literally dying yeah. in front of us. And oh, but anyway. That's the other thing, too. We definitely need to get some younger people. Come on. They ain't got to be 30, but at yeah, least not, you know yeah, not, much, like, not much younger, but. Like you know, 50? Yeah. Jeff Bezos. Like I said, not Steve much Jobs. younger, but you know. Walt Disney. You know uh, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about all that. That's what I'm saying. Walt Disney's dead. No, no, I was just, I was playing. <laughs> I was just playing. Uh, but anyway, you know, we're, we're gonna close this off. Move on to the next part. I just wanted to. I think my my only thing because I agree with what both of you said. I don't have a tolerance for for or leniency for deciding on Trump. I present these questions more so just to to ask because I, I think it's it's something that people still think about. They just don't want to have the conversation because to the point before. It's always if you voted for him, you're racist. I think that there are more complexities that go into something. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times you're not just deciding on somebody because of that reason. I think that people really are frightened by government and are just like if you put your fucking uncle in the in the ballot, they're voting for the uncle just because he's and we talked about this a lot in the first go around because he's so against every single thing. That that the status quo is, mm-hmm. I'm voting for him again. You get a pass the first time. This time you don't really get much of a pass. Mm-hmm. I, I'm probably more lenient to it only because again I have to know you as a person. Like it's a conversation. It doesn't mean you're my you're my best friend. You're my homie. But uh, beyond Trump, bigger than any of this voting shit. If I just disagree with you in general, doesn't matter like how extreme. Unless you're talking about you know out here unless you're out here raping babies or something i mean that's a different conversation but if if you have a different political view you're not yeah. dead to me i'm just good we're gonna have the conversation that's, yeah, okay. that's like i, I said say. any other yeah. election no we can have a conversation this election no well, there's no, no conversation, yeah, I don't, yeah, have a conversation i don't we can have a conversation unless you're black voting for trump nothing to talk about because we you know yeah nothing to talk about but um <laughs> there's nothing to talk about yeah Cause I mean, talk about disgusting. I mean, Biden's done some disgusting things. Oh, so <laughs> <done something>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but anyway, but anyway, let's 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 yeah. pivot. Let's pivot over to. Uh, yeah, don't let me go in that closet. Cause we talked we talked about <laughs> it briefly. We talked about it briefly. Come on, come on. All right, really good, oh, yeah, guys. Real good, right. guys. Right. Um, so, Wait, I, incumbent's a, a weird word. Incumbent. Incumbent. What? How do you say it? Oh yeah. 
So incumbent. Incumbent? No, that don't sound right. Incumbent. Incumbent? Encompass? That sounds nasty. Incumbent. incumbent. It's, co- it's incumbent. That sound nah. Okay. Ask Siri. Say Siri. How incumbent you say bent. Hey Siri. Incumbent. How do you say incumbent? I say incumbent. Sure. Translate into which language? <laughs> <laughs> English. How you gonna tell it what to say? Like <laughs> spell it and then say pronounce. Oh. Um and why you got that accent? You freaky. Wait, what? <laughs> you picked the, you Wait, picked what do you the, want me to say? Hey, she picked the she picked the butler. <laughs> yes, Samuel. What am I supposed to say? Say what now? To Siri? Am I supposed to I mean to you're spell supposed it? to type it and then click like put pronounce afterwards and then it'll on Google it'll be the first thing that comes up. That's what I do at least. Um oh, yeah. I usually know how so to pronounce. So if you if you're watching the the visual of this, you'll see that I have this tattoo on my face. And the reason I told you. incumbent. I told you incumbent. That didn't sound like what you said though. Incumbent. Right? I said incumbent. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, nah, <laughs> you sound you sound kind of weird. No, know. you just wanted it to sound nasty. Yeah. Nah, it just sounded weird. It just sounded weird. Anyway. It wasn't sensual. Um Hey, shout out 706. Yeah, so oh, George is getting pretty close. Um, so anyway, I wanted to bring this up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Like I said, I got this tattoo on my face because I was Mike that. Tyson for Halloween, but mm. because um, I didn't record on Halloween, you know, I, I just decided <laughs> to use this. Well, I had an extra one. It was two. Two came in a pack. So use the second one. Why not? Y'all never get your money's worth. Uh, I mean, I just went weird on a random night. I mean, what? It's y'all. Like, am I impressing somebody? I don't know what you doing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at my girl. She working hard. Didn't never be me. He ain't doing nothing. Get him. He's a manager. Yeah. Oh, he makes sure everybody got water. Somebody need a pillow. <laughs> God, bring it back, Coney. Sorry. God damn. So, uh, Lil Wayne. Oh, Lil, disgusting. Lil, Lil Pimp, Pump, whatever disgusting. you want to call him. Uh, but I want to talk about Lil Wayne real quick. Because I've seen a lot of slander, and I get it. I'm not doing slander. And this is a perfect this is a perfect segue from the whole Trump thing. All right, now in essence, let's just get to it. Trump, Lil Wayne was seen in a picture posted on I think it was Lil Wayne's page, and Lil Wayne was co-signing the platinum plan. So in essence, all Lil Wayne did was the same thing Ice Cube did. But he took a picture. Okay. Mm. So let's, let's start there. Too now. No, no, he did. But then after he was explaining, y'all was like, there was a lot of people. Swale, there was a lot of people that were like, I mean, he's just trying to get something done. You know, no, 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 no. That's bullshit. And I call bullshit. Wait, so you're, you canceled, you canceled, you canceled Ice Cube? I don't For trying I, to help black well, okay, people? Wait, wait, wait. I never canceled anyone. <laughs> That's but what you said. I'm, no, but what I'm saying, what you he's saying bullshit. is bullshit. Yes. You're trying to help people at the end, right before a fucking election. What were you doing for the rest of the Coney, fucking four Coney, years? Coney, Coney, Coney that's fair but at the same time i'm just saying he did the same thing snoop Dogg did right and people you. people didn't do you hear nah i don't hear shit well, how yeah. long has it been like this well i didn't know you even been clicking nothing <laughs> here now. uh so anyway um i'm sorry go ahead yeah thanks for interrupting me for that um i just had to call boo. anyway no 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 i was talking about that oh uh so Lil Wayne posted and uh again this is kind of like it's funny because it kind of com- comes off of the last conversation that we were just having mm-hmm. but people people is really heated about this Lil Wayne thing I mean I don't understand why only because I mean I saw him for what he was when he made that whole comment about the Black Lives Matter movement but do y'all really care I don't. That's why I didn't say nothing. I was like, okay. No, I, I mean, when I say y'all, I just mean, I, like, I'm like genuinely Jones? interested to people. No, just people. Like, because this people is People who thing. aren't. I, I personally, number one, context matters, right? Black lives matter too, but context matters too. Mm-hmm. And it's, mm-hmm. it's, I agree. I think the most egregious thing about this entire dilemma is the timing. Okay. Okay. But. If we want to be realistic, is Lil Wayne swaying anybody's vote? No. For <laughs> okay. me, this is this, and again, well, this did, is. Did anybody wake up, saw saw that picture, and was like, you know what? Lil Wayne's voting not. for Trump. Lil, let me vote for Trump. 
this is the thing with that situation. Not not giving him a pass, not saying it's an excuse. I think this was just another J. Cole situation when J. Cole did the whole tone thing. Hear me out. No, no, this is way worse. All right, yeah, go ahead. Ain't gonna finish what I'm saying. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Yeah, ain't even finish nah, what I'm saying. Nah, you can't do that. Can I finish what I'm saying? You try to take down Young Simba, bro. <laughs> go. No, go they tried to. So I'm saying nah, this nah, is a J. Cole situation where Cole said what he's if you're not a Cole fan, you didn't understand what was going on in that situation. If you're not a Wayne fan, you don't understand that he don't know shit about anything. Like, we don't we don't take that seriously. Oh, I mean... That's what I'm saying, dog. I guess. It's, it's the same situation. No, like, yeah, people who are mad at Wayne don't listen but, to Wayne. But but one per I guess the reason I say that is because one person was like, you know, like, they were deep about it. The other person was just... Regard, but the same situation. A lot of there were a lot of non Cole fans had something to say about that Cole situation. There's a lot of non Wayne fans got something to say about it. It's like, do you think Wayne is doing this on purpose? Wayne is not in touch with but, anything but, that's going but on. But this is my thing though. Is Wayne he did doing not vote. it on purpose. When have you ever seen Wayne stand beside Anyone. anybody to take a picture? That wasn't a part of Wayne. his like click. Even being out of touch, like you can be out of touch. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, when does Wayne ever even do something like he that? He did it to well, up to this, the up to this point. First of all, up to this point in Wayne's long career, and he's still, you know what I'm saying, young, I guess age wise, he mm. doesn't have the best role models around him. So somebody probably said, hey, it'd be a little look good if you meet with him at least. And he did it. You don't think twice about shit. Who's in this circle saying that? I guess is, I don't is know, it, man. Is, I don't I know because you know I I find I, I see know. Wayne as the type of person that like he's had the same five friends for and he's been doing a lot of questionable 20, shit his whole career. Years. He has, but most you know of the time it's interviews. That's why that's why I said this one was different only because it was a photo op. That's and, what I'm saying. And though, Wayne if, has never been a part of any initiative like ever. If you have Wayne has multiple interviews where he has not want to say, say talk down about black people, but like you said, the Black Lives Matter thing, saying cops not racist, saying he hasn't experienced racist, mm -hmm. but his people continue letting him go on interviews. That's the people that's around him. So it's kind of like this situation. I mean, you can't. Yeah, you can't control Wayne. That's what but, I'm saying. Right, this is the reason I brought it up, though. And the reason mm -hmm. the reason I said it was because I could give two fucks about what Wayne feels like about politics. Yeah, I don't. I don't I, Wayne is not oh, an God. artist. And what's even funnier, you brought up J. Cole before. Mm -hmm. I think I am such a big fan about some of the people I'm fans of because I don't know shit about them. Some mm -hmm. people get too connected to an artist that they admire and they just they fall in. So they, they leave themselves open to be hurt when they open <laughs> their mouth and say some bullshit. Uh, some of my favorite rappers, Lil Wayne. You talk about like uh, um, Andre three thousand. You talk about guys like uh, like Ludacris and uh, Pusha T and like all these guys. They not they don't you don't see them with a microphone. You don't see them talking. They're not mm. they're not out speaking. So my thing is, uh, it's very easy for me. I, I saw the cancel and I saw this and that. But not the reason canceling. why I said what I said in the in the chat is just because. I really don't care. I don't care what they got to say about politics. I don't care. I don't care anything. I just want the music. As long as they're not doing anything that's like, you know, criminal. Like, I don't listen to R. Kelly anymore. He's canceled to me. Um, I don't really listen to much Tory Lanez unless, like, Tory Lanez, he's, he's kind of creeping back. But, like, until it's settled, I'm he's still wild. thinking that he's responsible. Yeah. Till, till it's settled. Look, man, I feel you. Too, too invested. Um you know, I think the only artist, as much as I like Kanye, the only artist who slightly disappointed me was Drake. I'm not going to lie. When the whole Ghost Rider rumor came out, I was kind of hurt. Oh I was kind of hurt. That's fair. Because it's like, damn, like up to that point, like you've been perfect. And now they're saying that you're not. That's painful, man. <laughs> but what saved him, <laughs> what, saved, what saved Drake's career is the fact he sings. If yeah. he didn't sing, if he was Kendrick, his career would be over. And on top of that, I mean, his his his, his comebacks charged up. I feel like it was very underrated. Back to back was fire. I know he wrote well, both of those, thing. so that's it's kind of like his pen. huh? Nonstop. Oh, I mean, that's, yeah, it's later in his career. I'm talking, <laughs> I'm talking like around. Wait, can we time. talk about oh, that? Wait, okay. can we talk about that real quick? What? what? Uh, your boy? Nonstop. Nah, I don't want to. I want to put his name out there. He's a friend of the show. You know, oh he man, had <laughs> he, had a, he had a list recently. Uh, my man, we yeah. can make this show a little lighter right now. We've been talking about too much too much dark shit too That's much stress um yeah i mean there was a there was a there was a drake maybe be 
Oh, uh, we could actually call him if you wanted to call him. Call him up. No, nah, wait till wait the next episode because oh. I don't have his number like that. Mm. Wait the next episode. I know Connie got it. Wait, I, I might have it. it. I might have it. Uh, he wants you hit him with a surprise call. call I don't even know who it is. We hit him with a surprise it's call. It's Max. We're hit my man with a surprise call. Relax. Oh, do I? It's Max. We're about to do yeah, Max on it. I, uh, I, I figured you had it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Nah. We're about to hit him with Maybe. a surprise call. Oh, I don't know if this is the same number. Are we gonna hit him with the surprise? Go, go, hit this DM real quick. Cause it, are you still? Is it still like at the top of your list? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ask him. Ask him if we can call. Cause I do want to talk about it. I do want to mention. It. I don't know how much time we got. We got uh, set the forty five minute mark. So, you know, he came out with a Drake list. Let me scroll um, down. I might have his number. Uh, Swale sent it to me, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, it it didn't Wait, it didn't send look me the great. Drake list. Well, it was a story, so I don't oh. know. If it's, it's put him on the next one. Available. Put him on the next one. But um, I and then we had this conversation. I said, if you're gonna do a Drake top fifteen, because that's what mm. it was, is extreme. Is like that's next hard. to impossible. And that's I told hard. Swale that that's like a senior capstone project where you need an entire semester to do your research. And get your presentation together, cause <laughs> I tried, I tried so hard to go down this rabbit hole, and I don't know, I don't know if I really got there. It was tough. Top fifteen. It's tough. Drake. It's tough. It's tough. Like I came up with a fifteen, but I don't even know if that's what I'm going with. Honestly, you can't because you, you can't. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why it's so difficult with Drake. It's so difficult with Drake because he has so many different styles of mm -hmm. drake mm. and each of them are important in their different times and so what what the issue becomes is like is the headlines like find your love drake better than the energy legend drake mm. but is he better than the like free smoke portland drake that could be as good as the the child's play Drake. I mean, you you have like, nah, there's, you got too many different, different styles. You have to separate it because the motion thing. and how about now is like my top five Drake songs of that. Uh, how the, about uh, now? Hear me out though. Like you said, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have guessed that from oh, you. That's man, I felt the man. Yeah, yeah, that whole song, I lived through it. <laughs> <laughs> How about now? Man, trust me. Go back, and listen, right now? Yeah, go back and listen now? to it. And you'd be like, and Man, he right went through now. this. He went through this. I went through all that. But so, I'm saying, though, but like you said, care? though, there's so many styles. Though. It's hard for me to say that, though, like you said, because there's so many styles. Because you got Pound Cake, that first verse. <sighs> you put Pound So the reason Man. I put. So that mine feature with Beyonce? I thought about. Woo! I thought about. Oh, so so that's the thing. So, like, so when I looked at this list, I tried to keep. When I made a list, I tried to keep off anything he had a feature because I think he has so many good songs by himself. I tried to make it a little bit more difficult pound and just cake. say it's only tough. the songs that he doesn't have a feature. on. I need that pound cake on there. Pound cake is too long for me. Wound Tang is. I'm just. I'm saying his first. That's what, his first verse. That's all I need. Nah, nah, nah. That nah, thing nah. could have been a minute long. I'm like, it's, it's tough, man. It's tough. It's tough. It's man, tough. It's tough. Tame. But if I if I had a if I had a 15, mm -hmm. I did this 15. Mm -hmm. I didn't put a lot. Now, mind you, I didn't put enough thought into it. This was this was like the night that we talked about it mm -hmm. after I saw that list, and I was like, let me just throw a rough 15 together. But this is just what I got off the top of my head. Okay, okay? Mm -hmm. it doesn't necessarily need to be in order. Okay. Mm -hmm. But this is just my 15. So you can argue it. That's fine. I'm arguing. But I think, but I think <laughs> the 15 that I come up with, mm -hmm. it's a mix of. Oh yeah. It's a mix of personal and uh, and commercial. Because I do think when you do do the the top 15, unfortunately.